Okay, so first we're talking about view though, right? Yeah, so you really want to get your, uh, whew, man, I have that, <laughs> that IT uh, shape in here. So by default, when you open up Outlook, you're going to be on the home ribbon, right? So mm -hmm. That's what it's called, a ribbon. Yeah, this right here. So <clears throat> by default, it's going to have, you know, your three sections here. Mm -hmm. um, one of the differences that you have from uh, regular Outlook is you can, <clears throat> you can add that, that to-do section over here on the right. You can't right. do that. You can't do that on this version. The calendar and everything? Yeah, so let me see if I can. Like uh, like this, see how I have this over here? Yeah. Here and here. You, you get that on the Outlook, don't get that on the Mac. So that's wow. one of the things that's different. <clears throat> and you can't really do anything uh, about that feature, but if you're, that's where like people that kind of go, well, I, I saw that people on the Mac have this, how can I do that on the, on the, on the uh, or on the Windows side, how can I do that on the Mac? And yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen a way. Um, but you go to the organization here, or organize, and this is where you have the different view panes. As you notice, you don't have the to-do list. It's, it's not there. It's missing. Um, mm. But on the Windows side, you would have the to-do bar, and then it just drops it down here. And then you can pick kind of what you, what you have here. <clears throat> I'm just kind of showing you some of the differences. So I just want to go over real quick about what these are. So here you can change your read pane. So if I want to throw it from here to the bottom, which I feel is heresy, but if that's <laughs> the way you want to run, <clears throat> by all means, go right ahead. You can also turn it off, so then you're going to have uh, more real estate here, right, for your, for your mail to flow. I don't have a lot. This is just a demo account, so, mm -hmm. but it could just go all the way to the bottom. So this is really the, probably the most intuitive way to do it, mm -hmm. is run it this way. And then you, you have this arrange by section. So this is nice, like you can take, you can do it by conversation view. You can do it, you know, you have these different um, columns where you can sort by, and that's where you can kind of pick those, which is nice. You also can mouse right here to try to find, because um, I'm using a remote, of course, it's a lot harder to do this, but you can adjust these spacings here and slide these around. But because I'm using remote, see how it kind of gives me the ability to do that. It's, it's just yeah. really hard my remote to kind of find that middle <laughs> right spot so that, but, that way you can drag it to make it as there I go. long as you'd like it to be right so maybe you want, might want to have this and that that kind of goes down to um whether or not you would want message preview so the message preview gives you see how it says my analytics are discovered if i turn this off see it goes away so it's more of a oh. simplistic view of it so you don't get to see like the first little bit of what is 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 in the email but when you do message preview, it kind of shows you what that first line says. So it kind of gives you an idea of what it is before you click on it. Like, what's it going to show over here? See how it right. says, based on Marvel series. And it's grabbing that from uh, some kind of text that, because this is a different type of view, um, mm -hmm. it, you're not really seeing exactly the same thing that it sees. But yeah. So that's how that is. Choose. They can choose if they're sending like a mass email, what that also says to right. like a short yeah. description. Kaylee with a marketing kick in there. <laughs> um, <clears throat> now, uh, focused inbox. What do you think that means? Hmm. Is that like specific people or some or specific email addresses? So this is something that is really a love hate relationship. Some people absolutely love focused mailboxes, and you, this is a feature you have on Windows as well. Yeah. And other people absolutely hate it, and it's a train wreck. So focused inbox is designed to say, okay, well these messages are more directed towards me. So if I mm -hmm. click on the focus tab, it shows messages that are more directed towards me. Whereas, oh, yes, you even have that on the phone, too. Yes, you do. You mm -hmm. see it by default on the phone. And I actually like having that on my phone. I do as well. Um, because when I'm on the phone, I'm not trying to do heavy outlook lifting. I just want to be very efficient and quick, and the focus yeah. tends to allow me to do that. So I tend to just really focus on those emails when I'm remote looking at the messages on my phone. And yeah, that's a that's great point. That's what Kaylee's referring to is the... Uh, you can kind of, I'm not sure if you can see that, but in the top here. 
Yeah, there's like purpose. two frames. Yeah, yeah. that you can choose from. So that's that's kind of how that that works, and it works the same way, just like it does in Outlook uh, on your uh, Outlook app on your phone. Now you don't get that focused and unfocused if you're just using the native iPhone email app. It has to be the Outlook application. Yes, yeah, so you have to download that application. That's a which is a great app. There's lots of pros and cons. Maybe we might do a video on that. Um, yeah, that's there's some things point. to look out about when you're using it. But once you know those kind of little potential pitfalls, it is a great application and makes your life considerably easier. You have more capabilities in the Outlook app on your phone, like to be able to see shared calendars and shared folders. You can't do that in the native iMail message on your iPhones. They just don't understand that kind of stuff, but the Outlook yeah, app does. For sure. Yeah, we should definitely do a webinar about that. And we're just discovering all kinds of ones. So, we are. We're just coming up. But this also can be a train wreck for some people because they, they just – this can be really hard for them to kind of understand, okay, what the difference is between the two. Yeah. Uh, I had a new user who had a Mac for the longest time, used Gmail. At first, they loved Focus, but then it just really threw them into a tailspin. And, um, yeah. They, well, Gmail does have a similar thing. Right. But it doesn't behave necessarily the same way as Gmail yeah, it does. Doesn't. So uh, in some situations, it just might be better to turn that off. So if you yeah. see Focus and Unfocus, that's, where it is, that's what it is, and that's how you turn it off. Now, conversation view can really be a train wreck for some people <laughs> as well. So I turned it off now. So if you see here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten emails. If I turn conversation on, we got less. Mm. Where'd they go? They're hiding inside. They're other. hiding inside the mail messages. So I do like this view, conversation view, better than and full-blown outlook on windows this is one of the features actually really like so you better. would recommend it on mac uh, if you understand that concept um yeah. see by default it shows you just the normal mail view but it, it nests them underneath each other so you can still see it but when i click on it it just shows the message like by default if i click off of here and i click on it it just shows the normal message like i replied whereas uh -huh. with the um with the Outlook one that I, in Windows, it just does some weird stacking stuff. It does. Here. It lays it all out on top weird. of each other, and you're just like, where am I? Like, yeah. <laughs> Super weird. In the, in the uh, Mac side, it tends to do it better. And then if I want to see what messages are involved in that, and, kinda, and it gives you the dates, I just like this a little better. I think yeah. this is just a better implementation of conversation view. This is one of the few times where I feel like maybe a conversation view might be a better view um, mm -hmm. in some situations. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's where you can do that. Uh, I, I, I would play with it. I think conversation view is more helpful and more efficient with you being able to find messages, especially if there's multiple parties in the message and you want to be able to see all party conversations that might be related to that message that you have. So I, I think that's, uh, that's something worth exploring. But again, you go under the organization tab here. So yeah. by default, you're on home. You go here and you get all of these great little options here. Okay. Now, there's mail rules and some other features, which we're not going to go into, but these are, um, these are some more advanced features. But mail rules are basically uh, smart, intelligent rules that when messages come in, you can decide on things like moving it to a specific folder, yeah. sending it to a deleted items. Maybe you don't like anything having to do with LinkedIn, and you've told it not to keep sending you stuff, and it still sends it, and you can mark it as spam. But you may want to have like specific rules to just do stuff with it. Yeah, um, that's very helpful.